So the ongoing uh, SDR project with the NOLAC USB uh, dongle. Uh, tonight I am decoding uh, pager traffic. On the screen there right now you'll see uh, a pager uh, transmission come alive. There's uh, several transmitters pretty close together in frequency near me and uh, just zoom right in and see nice good strong signal on the waterfall. Uh, works really well. So what you do is you, uh, this is our SDR Sharp. Uh, just open it up, get it set up. I actually need to modify the offset just a little bit because this isn't actually the right frequency, but it doesn't matter. You just compensate within here and just slide it over. Anyway, um, nothing fancy there whatsoever. Uh, once you have that set up, uh, tune to your desired pager frequency, whatever one you want. Uh, in this case, we're around the 932 uh, meg area. There's some down uh, a lot lower. There's another one right there now that's just shifted off a little bit, but I don't find a lot of interest on that one. Uh, this one's a little bit more entertaining. And uh, what you do then is you download a program. Uh, I use this uh, PDW 3.1. Uh, it seems to work pretty good. It's extremely finicky to set up. Uh, really got to tweak with the levels. I'm going to try changing the sample rate in the SDR a little bit. Maybe that's going to help. But uh, everybody says the same. It, it's finicky. So here's the program. Um, it's really, really basic. There's not much for setup. You can change the modes. Uh, it'll do... Let's see if I can get rid of the shake here. It'll do uh, ACARS, uh, the Mobitex, the Hermes, and the Poxeg slash Flex. So it'll... it'll self-configure. You can turn off different baud rates, etc. and, and uh, do as you like with the configuration of this. Set up all kinds of filters if you want to note whatever receiver number, etc. Some pretty cool setup you can do. But uh, yeah, uh, right now it's paused uh, because I don't want the pager traffic to scroll across the screen complete where everybody can see it on this video. I'll uh, cut away and uh, uh, crack it open and, and let it run, but I'll cover up some of the screen so we don't uh, go giving out any phone numbers or anything. But uh, yeah, believe it or not, people uh, still use pagers. There's lots of them out there, and all the traffic seems to come through all the network, uh, all the towers, because it doesn't know where you're at. So uh, lots of interesting traffic on it, but I suspect it's a dying breed. Anyway, I'll cut away and uh, show you the program running. And here we are pulling in the uh, decoding the pager traffic with the PDW 3.1 open. Uh, I have this window uh, over here to block some of the, the text so the full phone numbers and full messages don't show up. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You can see uh, Flex A and Flex C mode forms coming through. I was doing the pox egg earlier on, uh, on another frequency with no problems. Um, still getting the odd uh, character drop, uh, still fine tuning the levels to get everything just right. But uh, yeah, and I've got the bandwidth widened up a little bit there. Just just playing with it. Uh, every night seems to be a little different that I try this. It's, it, it's really, really finicky to get it just right. But uh, once you do, you can see the, the cycle, the, the phase cycle information on the top bar come in when it's decoding. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, not much to it. Uh, yeah, give it a try.